Hey everyone, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the Erdnase Color Change, first published in Expert at the Card Table by S.W. Erdnase. It's a beautiful color change, but it's also easy to do. And uh, if you stick around till the end of the video, I'll show you my special way of doing it that I think improves upon the original technique and makes it much more beautiful. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm gonna be the first one to welcome you. I do videos like this every single Thursday at noon. That might be magic reviews or deck reviews. It may also be tutorials or maybe some, even some blogging content. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, everyone, so let's show you the original Erdnase color change technique. It looks like this. Pretty, right? Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not too difficult. Basically, what's happening under cover of my right hand is this card, the top card, is being pushed forward. The card below it is being pulled out and replacing on top of the face card. Well, the technique I like to use is using my pinky finger on the corner of the uh, card, the contact first, and then my hand closes like a book. And as that happens, my hand pushes just slightly forward, causing uh, the face card to move about, about an inch, okay? Now that that's clear, it's in the perfect position for the base of my palm here to make contact with that second card. Now that my palm has contact on that second card from the top, it draws it out until it's clear of the face card, which looks like this. Now, the right hand deposits its card on top of the face, and the index finger squares the card below it. At speed, it looks like that. Okay, if you're still here, it's because you were interested in my technique, or my version of this, and so, uh, my version looks a little bit like this. Okay, so how does my technique differ? Well, it's pretty much the same as the traditional Erdnase color change. I just add a little bit of extra action with the right hand, which adds a little flourish and uh, decreases the amount of time that people believe that my hand is on top of the card, like this. So all that's really happening in this version of the uh, Erdnase color change, or my version of the Erdnase color change, is I'm coming up to the left and then depositing down over top like that in a sweeping motion. And then it's writing, right now, it's writing on this part of my thumb, on my left hand. It just rests there, and then it slides down and over, and then it's deposited as the index finger squares the card below it. So it looks like all of this is just the get ready and the magic moment takes place here instead of being one solid block of me rubbing the card. So instead of that, you get that. Okay, so that was the Erdnase color change. Hope you enjoy that. If you like my technique, I'd love to uh, hear your feedback or comments about that. Um, if the video was at all unclear and there's some questions you might have about it, please leave me a message down below and that way I can uh, reevaluate the video and upload something that's more clear. I always want to hear feedback from you guys. If you have any other things that you'd like me to cover, you can also leave a comment about that down there. I'll leave a link in the description for Expert at the Card Table if you're interested in checking that out. Again, if this is your first time on the channel and you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing and clicking that little bell icon. I do videos like this every single Thursday at noon. Uh, I always have something new coming for you guys, so uh, take a look out for those videos. We have a lot of exciting stuff happening. Uh, question of the day. Uh, what kind of techniques are you trying to work on right now? What is uh, something that maybe you've heard about or heard described or explained, but really still aren't sure about? I'd like to hear uh, your questions in the comments below, so that way I can have ideas for future videos. See you in the next one.